I would say the core problem is that people kind of expect and they push a policy that it's instantaneously in place globally and that's bad for at least two reasons. One of course is Cap Theorem says you can't actually do that since you can't reach all those places reliably. I think it's a deeper problem as well which is that you really don't want your policy to be deployed globally instantly. Right? I would say the number one source of outages at Google is that we deploy policies too broadly. And you have a bad policy, it breaks something, you can break a lot of things quickly. People don't historically have the same kind of degree of rigor around policies that they have around their, their binaries. One of the things I'm hoping we'll do in this space in general is help people with kinds of better canary testing, better progressive rollouts. All of our major services typically roll out over four days in a, in a staggered way and we can actually roll them back quickly if things are going bad before any real damage is done. So the first thing I would make is you actually don't want consistency. You actually want eventual consistency for the purposes of safety. But it does mean you have to plan around multiple versions coexisting. You tend to want to have backward compatible APIs. It does limit what you can do. And that's going to be something the community has to learn, I think, a few more times. There's definitely going to be a need for offloading into hardware, certainly at large scale. We already have to do that in Google for a variety of reasons. And also, when you're doing lower layers, you can do hardware implementations that are actually much more power efficient and uh, much more efficient in general than a general purpose processor. And with the end of Moore's Law, it's actually important to take advantage of those opportunities. Inversely, that means if you want to do something at the lower layers, I mean IP and TCP and UDP, for example, you have to actually limit a little bit what it is you're trying to do, such that they fit well onto constrained hardware implementations, whether that's in a NIC or a, on a router or a other kind of big iron processing. I'd also add that even kind of Envoy's core strength, which is looking at packet headers, a lot of that can be offloaded to network coprocessors, to NICs, and to other kinds of hardware if we are a little careful there. So things like cell are good examples of things that are friendly to offload. If you put in a full JVM and arbitrary Java application packet day load, that's not going to offload well, and that's something to be aware of. So we still want application level plugins. They'll probably still run on general purpose servers, but it'd be nice if the headers and below could be offloaded efficiently. My general belief is that service mesh is kind of one of the best places to start for modernization. It's actually easier to install a service mesh than it is to containerize your workloads. And especially if you have some greenfield teams that are going to use Kubernetes, for example, they're going to need to connect to a bunch of legacy services through arbitrary APIs, could be SOAP or whatever, and it's important that you get those as into the service fold, meaning that you actually start to think about them as things that have telemetry and SLOs and security. And so putting some of that infrastructure in allows you to join your worlds immediately. And then as you containerize workloads, more and more of your things are modernized, but they're already in the mesh before that starts.